I've come to this jet engine testing facility in Georgia to meet Barry Ladder, one of the original engine designers. Yes, we had problems with the engines. It was a huge gamble with a lot of money involved, but we were given the latitude to be able to try ideas out. If they worked, great. If they didn't work, we just tried again. So what would you say the, some of the major innovations are that went into the 747 engine? In the case of the 747, the kind of innovation that was built into the airplane or the engine was the first application of what we call a high bypass ratio engine to a commercial airplane. A high bypass ratio engine sounds complicated, but like all the best ideas in engineering, it's actually pretty simple. And it starts with understanding how a classic jet engine works. It basically comes down to four principles. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. That's it. Now the sucking happens right here. These fan blades are moving really fast and sucking in a lot of air. Now the squeezing, that's starting up in this area right here. Basically, we're bleeding off some of the air from the fan blades and we're squeezing it or compressing it down all the way through this section until we get to the combustion chamber. Here, we're adding fuel and ignition and we're getting bang. Once we have combustion, those hot gases are gonna expand through a series of turbine blades right here. Now these turbine blades, they're attached to a shaft which is connected to the fan blades at the front. Those fan blades are gonna spin up to 4,000 revolutions a minute. That creates thrust, the power to get the plane moving and off the ground. Even so, with all this work, we're only creating 30% of the thrust for the engine. But it's the way this bypass engine creates the rest that is so ingenious. As well as driving air through the central turbine, the fan forces twice as much down the sides of the engine, bypassing the turbine, hence the name. This air blasts straight out of the back of the jet, creating an additional 70% more power. It's just air that's creating over 40,000 pounds of thrust that's propelling this airplane forward. The 747 pioneered the high bypass engine. Now, it's an industry standard, delivering more power with less fuel on aircraft.